Welcome back to Love in Dubai show. And right now we're joined by a jack of all trades, uh, from being a former professional basketball player to becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the business uh, in the business world. So welcome to the show, Thank party. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having Woo. me. How are you feeling today? I'm good. Uh, so we know a lot about you, but for the audience, could you just give us a little brief? You've accomplished a lot. But yeah, can you, thanks, the highlights of your life so far, yeah. can you give us a rundown? So yeah, I, I used to be a, a professional basketball player. Yeah. Uh, played for the past uh, 27 years professionally, all around the world. Played in Europe, played in States, played in China. Um, achieved 11 times best player in Asia. Wow. Uh, thank you. And um, we went um, three times to the World Championship. We won against France, Canada, Venezuela, all the you know big teams um, as Lebanon, um, and you know part of my career was the business side, and uh, starting my business with uh, at at a young age because I know you know sports will not last for a long time, so I wanted to start something and. You know, by the time I was deciding to start something, I started with my own cleaning and disinfecting company, and it's one of the biggest now in Lebanon. And then went to sports, had my champs complex, and then, you know, I was shifting a lot to the business side. And um, I had five companies in Lebanon, uh, different sectors, and then moved to Dubai to have, yeah. yeah <laughs> That's uh, impressive. Yeah. Quite so a I'm I'm a lot, um, I'm, you know I can I'm I'm a reality person that yeah. knows that everything will come to an end. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to start a new career with a young age, because you never know. You know you might break your leg, you might have an ACL that you cannot play anymore. So you need to have another uh, source yeah. of income that can, you know, keep yeah. your life steady. So always have a plan B. Definitely. Plan C, D, E, F, G um, as well. Uh, plans from A <laughs> to Z. Oh. Non-stop. That's a good tip. Yeah. So uh, I have an important question. Yeah. <laughs> so the name, the Lebanese Tiger, where did yeah. that come from? So we were playing in the, um, in the, we were playing the Asian champion. And, uh, you know, it was in 1999. And it was tense. You know, the championship was really tough. Yeah. And it was in Lebanon. So I decided to go and do you know, a highlight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, we all have our faces. Yeah, blonde, blonde highlight. And I had only um, a, a, goatee. Yeah, a goatee. And then I told him to do uh, a blonde Stripes? goatee. Really? Oh. Yeah. So with the highlight and the blonde goatee, and my game is aggressive. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, aggressive player. And, um, you know, the commentator was, was a friend of mine. He's, he's well-known, uh, Tony. And he saw something, you know, with the highlight and the goatee and uh, my aggressivity in the side it's of the like, game and said... You look like a tiger. He's, he's the tiger. <laughs> he's a great tiger. And it went. And oh, I have wow. my restaurant now. It's yeah. called Tiger's Diner. Oh, that's so uh, cool. I was talking to Richie. We're opening in, uh, um, in Egypt. Yeah. Saturday is the, is the opening of my uh, restaurant in Egypt as well. Um, we have oh, what's the name Congrats, of the by the way. The Tiger's tiger. Diner. The Tiger's Diner. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, In team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we had everything, you know, covered with the, with the name. Yeah. Yeah, but it's my favorite. Definitely it's my favorite. Your favorite um, project so far? Huh? Your favorite project so far? Yeah. Or your favorite yeah. nickname? Yeah. <laughs> Both. Yeah. So are you thinking of opening it up in Dubai as well? Yes. But first, can you please smile for our audience? Like, look at those. Look at the the pearly whites. Oh, my God. Like, the perfect smile. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So braces? Thank you. Thank you. Invisalign? Uh, or natural? No, not natural. Not natural? No. They've done it. Uh, I've done with a, with a friend. My, my wife kept telling me, you know, try it. You know, try doing something, you know, uh, it will With look nice. Smile. And, and uh, you know, the doctor, she's a friend, she's kept, you know, just try it. Yeah. And I went there, and the first day when they had, you know, all those things happening, I came back home, I was shouting, yeah. And yeah. really angry and mad, and I was in pain, and <laughs> I the couldn't handle it. And I said, why you want to change my smile? I'm good. <laughs> why would you do this to me? The second day when I changed my smile, yeah. 
I was a completely a different <laughs> person. I was like, thanks, <laughs> thank you, you told me doing I this. Stand corrected. There is no, every picture I take, I'm like this. <laughs> so my wife tell, tell the people the story, you know. He was shouting at me, he was yeah. yelling at home, and now look at him. There is no one picture he takes yeah. without showing his smile. What a great so. example of behind every great man. There is a woman. <laughs> there is a woman. <laughs> I always say this. You know, my wife was, uh, was my uh, supporter uh, since I was 15 years old. Yeah. So we've known each other. She was so 13, cute. I was 15. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a true love story. And, um, You're crying. Yeah. <laughs> no, That's no. so cute. <laughs> the tiger is in uh, tears. Uh, so she's, uh, she's, uh, she's my uh, first supporter. She believed yeah. in me when I was really young, before starting the professional career. And uh, um, I'm, I'm 43 now, so we've been together for the past 29 years. Yeah, wow. wow. Uh, we got married. I was 23. She was 21. The first time uh, Jihad was born, we were 25 25, and 23. right. Yeah. So um, she always supported me, believed in me. And, uh, you know, yes, I'm definitely convinced that behind every man there is a, a great woman. Because, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're our supporter. That's so Besides, nice. definitely our parents and uh, family. And With love, when you know, you know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for sure. And I, I'm still trying to know <laughs> when and where. But also, uh, you did mention before that as of when you got married, it was 11 years until you guys traveled for the first time, right? Yeah, yeah Like, true. How, how, how did you find the balance also, you know, between family life and your professional career? It's, it's, it's very hectic because you have to balance between your private life, which is your family. You have to balance between your private life and basketball and your career and your travel and because you know I'm the national team captain mm -hmm. of the Leb of Lebanon yeah. so we end the season we go into the summer national team you know tournaments yeah. and championships happening uh, qualification for the world championships so there is no stop yeah when you are playing in your career um, I was giving all the time I have to my to my family you know, I finish basketball, I go to, uh, to my uh, family, I spend the time, and it's, it's really hectic. But when you have a goal you want to achieve in your life, I'm a person that I give 100% to achieve that goal. It doesn't matter where it is, but I work hard, I dedicate myself, I'm very disciplined, I'm very mentally tough, uh, and I know when I put the goal, I, I, I make sure to, to achieve. I was going to ask about that because I've been watching a lot of your interviews and a lot of it seems to be about having the right mindset. Yeah, how definitely. do you get yourself to that point and how do you flip the switch if you're struggling with... Listen, um, uh, I always say failures in life is a must. You know, people are scared from failures. Failures, mm -hmm. or when you fail, yeah. it's a must for you to fail. Why? Because you need to learn from the things that happened during those, you know, uh, times that you failed, so you can, uh, uh, you know, learn okay. from them yeah. and grow and know what's your mistakes yeah. to achieve, you know, a better goal. So I have four things in in, uh, in my life that are key, you know, for every person to succeed. One faith. You know, you need to have faith in every single thing you're doing in your life. If you don't have faith that you're coming here and you're going to uh, perform well, you're not going to perform. Yeah, you know, exactly. You're, you need to have faith in everything you're doing. You need to be dedicated. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. You know, completely key, dedicated yeah. to, you, to, your, to your work, to your goal, to your plan, to your... Uh, studies to everything, projects, everything you're doing. Mm -hmm. Discipline, yeah. which is the, the most important part, <laughs> to be self-disciplined. And uh, the, the fourth thing is mentally tough. Mental toughness is, uh, is one of the greatest things for any person to achieve anything because he, he needs to manage his failures, he needs to manage uh, to lead his team, he needs to be up to the level when they need the support or the people around you need the support, you need to be mentally tough and show it to them. So those four things are very important in every single sector. It's yeah. not only in sports. To succeed in anything every, that you're yes, doing. You need to have those four things 
to be able to succeed and work hard, definitely. Working hard is, is, uh, is one of the things. Do you think your father instilled that in you? Because he was also a professional athlete, right? And also now also your kids are yeah, yeah, going yeah. into the um, athletic course and yeah. basketball. Um, so do you think this was something that was you've been raised with, the mindset and dedication? No, no, no. I was, you know, I was uh, at the beginning, my parents were against me playing basketball because it wasn't that big in Lebanon yeah. until, you know, I was 16. And then they felt, you know, there is, uh, there is no point of uh, stopping him. Yeah. You know, he wants the basketball. He wants the He's going to go for it. He's, uh, you know, he, he's definitely going for it. And we cannot do anything about it. And then... You know, I took off, and um, at the age of 19, I was the best player in Lebanon, and then 21, I was the best player in Asia, and then, you know, it happened. My kids, I didn't force my kids to be basketball players. They saw my career, and they were, That's and thanks funny. God, I played mm. until the age of 40, yeah. so they can, and I was married young, and I had my kids at the young, uh, younger age, so they saw most of my career. Mm -hmm. And they loved the game. When I saw them, you know, into the game, until a certain age, I didn't interfere. Mm. At the age of jihad, at the age of 14, there I interfered, mm. you know, and I would start pushing him. And he now yeah. he's playing in Europe. Amazing. Uh, wow. One of the biggest teams in Europe. And, uh, you know, he's a prospect. The, the youngest, the middle one, he's following him next year. They want him in Europe as well. Yeah, wow. so they have, a, hopefully, a bright career. Oh, I, I always tell them, you know, whatever you do, it's, it's in here. It's a mindset. You know, yeah, if you want it, mm. you have to go and get it. You know, I'll give you the road. I'll give you the, the I open the door for you. But, you have but to make it's it all you now. Very you know? true. Yeah, it's all you. Proud moments for the family. Yeah. Dad's proud of you. Yeah. Kids are proud of you. Pr proud Thank of the you. kids. Yeah, yeah. So you started at the age of nine. Did you think your career would go on? Definitely For so that. long? No. 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 But I knew uh, there is one time uh, at the age of 11, uh, 11 or 12. Uh, so I used to love or like a girl at our school. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to her. And she said, uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. So my friend was pissed. <laughs> he went to her. He told her, this guy that you told him no, he's going to be the best player in Lebanon. So it went until you know I was 17 and he saw her again and I told her I didn't tell you at the age of 15 I knew I'm gonna be you know something because I was feeling <laughs> that you know in the schools and the tournaments that happens in the high school and uh, I'm in the not in the varsity class mm -hmm. but I'm you know I'm, I'm younger than them but yeah. I'm competing and I'm being the best player in, in the schools so I felt you know um, yeah my career gonna be nice. I didn't know that I'm gonna achieve a lot until I was 18, and I, you know, decided, you know, I want to be this guy. Yeah. I want to be the best mm -hmm. player. I worked hard to be this. I wanted to win championships, not only being the best player. I wanted to be the captain of the national team, take them to the to the world champion. No one. We used to go to the to the Asian champion, lose to Japan. Korea by 40, 50. Yeah. I remember this at the young age when I used to go with the national team mm -hmm. until the era changed. Yeah. And we clicked as a national team. Young generation came and we had the amazing team. And then we took off. We were beating China, Korea, big it, team. It was a snowball effect. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. With big players there. Yao Ming, you know, Yao is, is one of the best players in the world. So uh, it clicked and it, it went um, off, and this is uh, this is where you know I was I was really um, uh, you know happy and proud and uh, the pride was inside me more than anything happened because you're doing something for your country. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. There's so much that goes into leading a team and just making sure everyone's together. What would you say are some of the key points in just successfully handling? Team dynamics. Accepting others okay. is one of the most important things because mm. you cannot have everyone be the same. Be the same, and you cannot force everyone to work on your uh, mindset. Mm -hmm. You need to accept and make them go with the flow 
and make them accept each other and have a target for them, you know, with all the different mindsets that they have, you know, combine the best from each one mm. and make it, you know, as a force for your team. And there, you know, you will lead. And it's very important, the chemistry between the team. Mm. You know, always trying to find the right, you know, chemistry. Because it's very hard within 12 or 15 players uh, to manage 12, 15 different mindsets. Yeah. Especially you're on the court, especially you don't know what he wants now, what he wants to do. So it's, it's very tough, but it's challenging and nice. And I succeeded in it because I had my ways. There's sometimes I was tough and rough against my players. And there's sometimes, you know, I was easy. <laughs> uh, the chemistry is, is, is very important and accepting others and having, you know, taking from each one the best in him and have it as a group. And this is the force when, you know, when you go. And this, uh, uh, you know, goes into the business, goes into anything. I was going to ask, yeah. like, it obviously reflects the same in businesses because yeah, yeah, not yeah. everyone's the same and everyone has different dynamics. Yeah. Um, but shifting a bit more to the business Definitely. side, you having multiple different businesses yeah. in multiple different sectors, how do you create um, a dynamic effect or just groundbreaking new startups, basically? Okay. Uh, first of all, it's very important for any person who's working and at an, any uh, company or any uh, uh, organization. Yeah, organization, first of all, you need to be financially happy. Mm -hmm. That's that's important. Why? You need him to be stable. Correct. So if he's not financially happy, mm -hmm. he's gonna be seeking other jobs every time. Yeah. So you need him to be concentrated. So that's the first important thing, you know, uh, to have. Second of all, I always tell, you know, all the, all the staff that, you know, the team that we have, bring me all the negative feedbacks. Keep the positive. I don't want to hear about the positive. So give me the negative part so mm -hmm. we work on. Give me your feedbacks. I want to know what you have. So you can improve. But, well, yeah. Um, other than that, what you have as a, as a personal feedback, not people's feedback, mm. personal feedback. So we can learn from you guys. So it's it's not that, you know, I have a stick. Yeah, I, they're forcing uh, someone yeah, to do something yeah, they don't I'm want. I'm a magician. That's I'm commendable, a, yeah. really. We need for the everyone's, feedback. you know, involvement mm -hmm. in this. We need from the customer service, to the marketing, to the business development, to the GM, to the CO, to everyone's involvement in this. Because yeah, I know, I'm a big part of the business, but those probably five, seven, ten percent, twenty percent from each one, mm -hmm. if you implement them in the right way, you it's know your have, business is gonna grow. There's gonna be a domino effect. So there, it's a team. It's not a man. And I always tell them, and they tell me, you know, we feel like you're a leader, not a boss, and that's the fun of it. You yeah. know, you. You make them, you know, around you and friends and the atmosphere is nice and friendly and, uh, you know, everyone is joking. Definitely there is rules and restrictions. Yeah. But in the same time, in the same time, you're having their feedback, you're having them involved in your business and mm -hmm. implementing stuff. So when you come and tell me an idea, even if it's a, you know, small idea and you implement it, how you know how proud you're gonna be feeling? Yeah, exactly. How how happy I'm gonna be making you know the other uh, person uh, happy because I implemented his idea or we took uh, you know. Amazing. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's very important in in the business. So inside all of this. Uh, tough exterior is a softy. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> and um, so, like, we know you're a jack of all trades and you've accomplished so much. And thank you so, thank so you. much for joining us on the Love in Dubai show. It was a, pl a great pleasure. I'm, uh, I'm one of your uh, fans on uh, social media. We are um, a huge fan yeah, of yours ourselves. You. So, it was I'm really happy, an honor yeah, being here. Thank you guys Thank for you. watching. Uh, watch us same time, same place all week long. Bye from me. And me. Bye. <laughs>